First, let's talk about how truly great game characters never die. Earlier, Nintendo brought us a demo from Donkey Kong Country, Tropical Freeze, uh, proving that even next-gen gaming still owes a lot to its arcade origins. Now, Vice's technology and gaming magazine, Motherboard, that you may have seen online, investigates the strangest rivalry in competitive Donkey Kong since Billy Mitchell faced off against Steve Wiebe. Check out this short five-minute film. My name is Heng Chen. I'm 39 years old. I graduated from Harvard. I am currently a plastic surgeon and I hold a world record for Donkey Kong. The common bond between surgery and Donkey Kong is that they're both fine motor skills and it's a hand-eye coordination thing. It's not necessarily that one makes you better at the other. I think it's a common skill that if you're going to be good at one, you're probably going to be good at the other. My name is Vincent Lemay. I'm a Donkey Kong player and a meathead. And yeah, it's going to be bronze over brains. I would compare Donkey Kong to bodybuilding because you have to have a strict training day after day after day. You have to do the same thing over and over and over again. And it's the same thing with Donkey Kong. It's always the same thing, but you have to do it over and over and over again. I'm traveled from uh, Quebec. It was like a 12 hours trip and right now we are at uh, Denver, Colorado for the Donkey Kong competition. So there's like 30 people that want to, to be the best at this game. I don't really care about winning. The only thing that I want is to beat the champion Hang Chin. I mean, it's the only reason why I'm here today, to beat, to beat him, that's it. If anyone beats my world record, I'll leave it alone. But if Vincent beats it, I'm going to be on the machine every single day until I get it back. <laughs> I mean, Hank is a very successful man in life, but does he look like a champion? When we look at Hank, we look like a skinny guy. I mean, it's not really a champion, but what do we look at me? I mean, you see muscle, and that's what a champion is all about, man. Come on. Vincent has become a rival now. The way it started was, you know, when I had the world record, and back then he was maybe an 800,000 point player. He just would start picking on me and I was like, who is this guy? He's, I have the world record and he's an 800,000 point player. Who is this guy that's picking on me? And then we just you know, picked on each other back and forth and it just escalated to where it is now. Do I see myself being the champion of, of Donkey Kong? This is not a question, this is a fact. I don't feel like Vincent is nipping at my heels. I'm, I'm not too worried about him. No matter what score he puts up, I, I could probably top it. I, I don't want to, to see Hank win again, but I think that if I win, people will never be mad to see me win because, I mean, come on, look at me. Come on. Donkey Kong and the marathon have a lot in common. In both, you have to pace yourself and it's mentally exhausting and it's physically exhausting too because you're sitting in front of this machine for two hours or so. And my mind is just like cluttered with barrels. Who's gonna win, the muscle or the brain? And of course the muscle will win. Hank has currently taken the lead and uh, he's on his last barrel board and he has two men in reserve. Playing the game like a master. That was crazy. Right? See that shit? That was crazy. It's impossible to play this game a lot without being fucking pissed off. If you can deal with the, the pain and the frustration, then you're a really a true gamer. Donkey Kong, man. I'm gonna go to the gym and forget everything about Donkey Kong. <laughs> Vincent LeMay came in 10th. <laughs>
he improved his score by 1,000 over Kong off two. So he said by, you know, Kong off 100, I'll, <laughs> I'll win. <laughs> We are